So one of the best features of Oracle for X series is there's no save button, right? I make changes and those instantly are loaded to my device. But what if you find yourself in a really complex MIDI routing scenario where maybe for song one, you want MIDI from you know the middle center stage position to go back to drums, but for song two, you want it to go to another location. Well, what's great is on the Mio XM, I can save up to four presets to load on the device. And on the Mio XL, I can save up to, I believe, 32 different presets. So let's take a look at how to create, load, and save, and uh, update presets on both the XM and the XL. So I'm gonna start both, uh, I'm gonna start first with the XM. I'm gonna click the presets button. So it says currently loaded as preset one. So that means every change I make um, is just basically loaded onto the device automatically. So what I wanna do, let's just go and make, um, a change to my MIDI routing. Let's say everything that comes into DIN 1 is going to go out of DIN 2, 3, and 4. Now I'm going to go back to the preset screen. Okay, and what I want to do is save this as a new preset. So I have preset 1 already, and I'm going to do save as and choose the location I want to save this. So let's do preset 2, and let's rename this. So we'll call this MIDI 2 drums, and then I'm going to hit save. So now as soon as I hit save, you'll see I'm now in preset two, which was the last changes. Let's say I wanna go back to preset one. So I can go load and select preset one, and it's gonna load preset one. Um, let's say I wanna go and make some changes to preset one. Let's adjust maybe filtering here on DIN two, okay? And now I just wanna update preset one. So I'll go to presets, I'm gonna select the position now, if I'm updating, I probably don't want to change the name. I'm just updating, want to keep it the same. So I'm going to hit save, and that's going to save that new preset uh, information into preset one. Now, I can access and change presets here in Oracle, but I could also use the front panel of the XM. So I could press the memory one button to change to preset one, memory two to two, three to three, and four to four, which is great. Now, let's look at the XL. If I go to presets here, you see you have the option to save up to 32 presets. Same exact process to save and to load presets on here. So I can easily change presets on the front panel of the XL, either using the encoder or using the back and previous buttons to jump through the presets. And then as soon as I find the preset I want, I can hit load. Now, one of the nice features of this is if I don't choose load while I'm scrolling presets, it's not gonna change your preset. So if you get into a live performance scenario where someone accidentally changes the encoder on the device, it's perfectly fine. As long as they don't hit load, you're gonna stay on that preset. Now I could also save new presets on my uh, the front panel of the XL. So again, I can get everything the way I want it in Oracle, and then I can move the encoder or use the previous and back buttons um, to basically find the preset location. And then when I have it, I can hit save to save that new preset location. Now that's super, super great, but you'll wanna know when you're doing that, that um, in order to change the name of the preset, you still need to use Oracle to do that. Now there's one other way to change presets on both of these devices, and that's by sending program changes directly from our DAW to the devices. So if I go into Ableton Live and create a MIDI track, then I wanna go down to the envelopes box and let's click that to close that. So we just are looking at the notes box now. We have program change messages here. So I could select program one through four for the XM or program one through 32 for the XL. And then when I change my routing in MIDI two to preset selector, and when I do that now and send that down the preset selector line and trigger these clips, you'll see the presets on the device change automatically, which is great. So that's a look at how to create, save, edit, and update presets using our Mio XL and Mio XM interfaces.